items. They are important for Mario Kart. Like, really important. Without them, you have a boring racing game. Across all games, the item selection has stayed relatively the same, with the occasional absence or one-time item that is actually really cool. However, let's put ourselves on this situation. You are part of the development team working on the next Mario Kart. Congratulations! And it is your task to make the item roster for this hypothetical next Mario Kart. I'm sure you go crazy adding stuff, right? But not just adding stuff, you can also apply changes to the current items to switch up the experience. With the hypothetical situation in mind, today we'll show you what my ideal item roster for a future Mario Kart will be, featuring what items I will include, which ones I will leave behind, and which ones I will fix. First things first, we're going to round up all the items on every entry, from Super Mario Kart to Mario Kart Tour, except the arcade GP games. The reason for this is because in these, there are way too many items to go through. I'm not quite sure which ones will and will not work in normal Mario Kart play. That leaves us with a whopping 46 items. Let's start simple with the items I will remove entirely and why. The egg. This one is redundant as the Birdo and Yoshi eggs exist. And it's, it really is just another banana. The fireball. Much like the egg, this variant is redundant due to the fire falls from Double Dash and the fire flower. Not to mention it is just a stationary item that slightly moves. Coin, everyone's favorite item that didn't deserve to come back, and for good reason. It's essentially useless with so many coins placed around the track. It can be argued that it shakes up the gameplay by making you risk your current defensive item for another one, with the possibility of ending up with a coin. But this is more annoying than interesting, at least for me. We could very easily do away with this one. The Chain Chomp. While it is essentially the precursor to the Bullet Bell, and I like it just as much as the other, I'm gonna have to drop this one instead, as the Chain Chomp is too chaotic with it romping around, although that doesn't matter much, <laughs> and it sends your car out of control for the entire time, even after it goes away for a few seconds. The Bullet Bell is more straightforward and more effective. The green and red fireball. These are just as redundant as the fire elf and super since the fire flower exists. While these two behave differently, I prefer being able to control just how many fireballs are thrown, and this type of item is better off as being free for everyone than just two variants for the Mario Brothers. The triple bananas. I know, this is basically a staple in the series by now. But I think it will be better to use the Banana Bunch from Mario 64, as it adds two more bananas, thus meaning extra defense and ammo. The Pow Block. As neat as this item is, it's rather useless. It's a half power lightning that doesn't affect everyone, and once you figure out how to dodge it, it becomes a minor inconvenience, so it will just take away your item and nothing else. Only solution will be to make it so it can be dodged, but then it still remains a half power lightning nonetheless, so why bother? That's Thundercloud. Okay, I could go on for quite a while ranting about how this item is the worst item to ever happen in Mario Kart and how much I despise it, but let's keep it short. This item, well, it is a good and frenetic idea. In paper, it is a disaster in actual play. The boost it gives you is really not worth it when you have to worry about passing it over, and it causes unnecessary panic when race is already chaotic enough as it is. I used to advocate for this item, but now I come to hate it. 
I'm pretty sure this is the most common opinion. Bias aside, as cool as this idea is, I feel it would be better off as a game mode than an everyday item. The Crazy 8 This one's rather obvious, it's just a lucky 7 with a coin added. As I'm removing the coin item, this item will also stay out. Not only that, lucky 7 just sounds better, but that's just me. And finally, the bubble. This item is awkward. You're encased in a bubble and go autopilot until it gets popped. So basically, a much much worse bullet bill. It doesn't even make sense in Mario Kart Tour itself, which is a game that is controlled like automatically for the most part. So we can take this out, and nothing of value will be lost. Having removed all of these items leaves us with 36, some of which I will fix, and others that I will leave as they are currently. So let's get to it. I want to first say that for this hypothetical Mario Kart, we will not have special items, as in having items specific to a character. This is a cool idea, but I would like all the items here to be available to everyone, as that increases the amount of items that can be seen in the track and that can be obtained, a lot of the items that used to be special in Double Dash have become available for everyone, like the Lavon. The Banana, the Green Shell, the Red Shell, Star, Lightning, Blooper, etc. and any triple variants are of course going to be here. They're the mainstays, the staples. We cannot remove this, absolutely. As I said earlier, we're having the Banana Bunch instead since it packs more bananas for what it's worth. And yes, I am indeed keeping the Blooper in, and I won't mind it as long as the ink splashes are as effective as Mario Kart 7's and the effective traction from Mario Kart 8 remains. Feather So in Mario Kart Deluxe, this item returns as a battle mode exclusive and for good reason. The feather's ability of skipping over walls on racers is something that really only fits battle mode nowadays as regular tracks are now too complex to find a place, where this item could be really useful. For that reason, I bring it back as a battle-only item too. Boo! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you there. The Boo is probably one of my favorite items, and I love seeing it appear every so often. It's returning the locks, nerfed it a little, making it so off roast still affects you while invisible. So for this supposed Mario Kart, I will undo this change much like the Mario Kart DS counterpart. Poison Mushroom This one is essentially a bite-sized lightning, but contrary to the power block, it can coexist with the lightning just fine, for the sole reason that you will be able to choose where to place it, and it only affects one person. I feel that this will be pretty interesting to see in races. Fake item box. It is an absolute shame that this item has disappeared ever since Mario Kart 7 and it deserves a return. However, it should adopt a look that is near identical to the real boxes, like most of its appearances, to make it much more threatening. As for blocking items like in 64, I would rather leave that function out. This Piney Shell. We also cannot leave this one out at all. All it needs in my opinion is to have wings again. Being on the ground I feel makes it way too much of a threat, but if it absolutely has to remain wingless, I won't mind. The Birdo and Yoshi eggs. The idea of an item that explodes into more items is really cool, and since it's been brought back for Mario Kart Tour, why not do it again? Only exception is that anyone will be able to use it, as I'm not going with the idea of special items. And we should only keep the Yoshi egg, because the, the Birdo one is just a clone and no one cares about Birdo. Bowser Shell 
This one is interesting for the fact that it is a souped up red and green shell hybrid and there's nothing really wrong with that. Only things are that this item should have a very, very, very rare chance of appearing given that in this case it will be available to everyone and that it should not be draggable behind the player, as it is quite the strong shell. Giant Banana It's a giant banana that splits into more bananas when hit. Bananas are good. My only suggestion is that it should not be draggable behind the player, as that would be a bit unfair. It's, it's, it's a big banana. Like I said, bananas are good. Heart. A shield item is something I notice on plenty of car racers, except Mario Kart as its double dash and tour. The heart being a rerun of its kind, it only makes sense to see a return. Mega Mushroom. While this item is a half star, much like the power is a half lightning, I won't mind seeing a return, as it is a pretty cool item. In my opinion, it should keep the behavior from Mario Kart Tour, where it only makes opponents spin out rather than squish them, as I feel that squishing cuts off too much speed from the person affected, and it is a bit too unfair. Oh, and bring back the special music like in Wii. Fire Flower. This is the best version of the fireball like items, mostly for the fact that it can shoot up to 10, and it's available to everyone, so that's why it's here. The Super Leaf. I know, this item isn't really liked by anyone, but I never quite understood why. The main excuse is that it looks too weird, putting a tail behind you and whatnot, but I personally like the item. And I think the tail behind looks silly, that's all. There's only one change I will make, and that will be giving it a time limit. Another issue with this item many people have is that the item lasts way too long, even if you spam it. So I suggest that every swipe cuts down the timer like they use on a fire flower and a piranha plant. Lucky 7. Not much to say here except that I much prefer the name Lucky7, and 7 out of more than 20 items is enough stuff to be given. I will skip talking about the Boomerang Flower, Piranha Plant, and Super Horn, as they are already great items currently, so I don't have much to add to these, only that I want to see them again. The Ice Flower I have to say, I have been hoping for this item to happen for years now, and I'm glad it finally did. Even if it had to be on a not really good game. Because of that, if I had the chance to take this item onto a better game, you bet I will do it ASAP. Only change I will do is to have it function more like a fire flower on the main games, with up to 10 ice balls to use. Double the bombs. So these are a pretty cool idea that I won't mind seeing again. My only suggestion is to make them so you can throw them individually and not both at the same time. Banana barrels. Yet another innovative idea of Tor that I don't have much to comment on, other than I like to see it happen once more. Mushroom Cannon. Right, so at first I had decided that this item should not return, but then I thought that it would make a great battle exclusive item. The idea of sending mushrooms everywhere like crazy will work much better in an arena than on a normal track, since everyone will be boosting around the place, whereas on a track you're just basically giving a boost to your competition, at the front and back. Not the best thing to do, you think? Bobomb Cannon Much like its mushroom variant, this item is uh, better off as a battle exclusive, but not just because of Bobomb Blast, but because of the sheer chaos this causes. 
Anyone unfortunate enough to be near this has a high chance of not making it out without being blasted several times, which allows people that are farther ahead to leave everyone in the dust even more, thus making things ridiculously unfair. A bomb barrage sure is fun, but more fit, more fit for a bad environment. Dash Ring While it can be argued that it's similar to the Mushroom Cannon, the fact that there are only three rings that disappear upon its creator touching them makes them unique and a good fit for standard races. Coin Box Yet another cannon-like item, the Coin Box is also much better off as a battle exclusive since the coin spewing it does is much more fit for an arena, especially coin runners. There's already a lot of coins put on the tracks themselves anyway. And finally, the hammer. The hammer is a pretty cool idea that I'm kinda surprised didn't happen before, which also deserves a better home than the crappy crash grab that is Mario Kart Tour. And with that, we finished my ideal Mario Kart item roster. We got every single item in the series, not counting our KGB, placed somewhere in this hypothetical new Mario Kart, thrown out, or adjusted. Some of the items are great ideas that need to happen again, especially the ones in Tor. I was thinking of spiraling all of this into a Mario Kart prediction series, but I don't exactly have much ideas for anything else regarding a new game at the moment. If a new game ever happens though, I'd like to see if any items I suggested make it in. That said, I want to thank you for watching, and if you have any comments regarding my choices or your own ideal Mario Kart roster, feel free to say it all below, I'd like to hear, and continue the discussion. With that said, see you, and have a great day or night.